Hello friends. So I want to share a very important tip about WhatsApp backup on iPhone. So basically there are two different ways that you can backup your WhatsApp on iPhone. The first one is very easy. Simply go to settings on your iPhone, tap on your name, select iCloud, scroll all the way down and tap on iCloud backup and turn the iCloud backup on. This will automatically backup your WhatsApp data. Now the second method of backing your WhatsApp to your iPhone is little tricky. What you want to do is go to WhatsApp app, go to settings section, select chats, select chat backup. And now here you can tap on backup now and backup your WhatsApp to iCloud. Or you can set the auto backup and you can set the frequency to daily, weekly, monthly or you can turn that off completely. So this will also backup your WhatsApp to iCloud. Now let's go to WhatsApp storage and see whether we really need these two backups on iCloud. So basically you want to go to settings, tap on your name, select iCloud and select manage storage. Now here as you can see WhatsApp is already backed up and it is occupying some space. So this backup is basically directly from this WhatsApp app. So whatever app is backing up it is showing it here. Now there is one more WhatsApp backup here. If you tap on the backups and if you select your iPhone. Now as you can see this toggle is turned on here and this is a part of your iPhone backup. So basically your WhatsApp is being backed up to iCloud twice and you don't need that. So what you want to do is you want to turn off one of the backup. If you have enough storage on iCloud you can definitely have these two backups on but it is actually not needed. So what you can do is you can turn off one of the backups. Now which backup to turn off? Basically you can turn off any backup. What I follow is I keep this WhatsApp backup inside my iPhone backup turned off. So I'll simply hit turn off and delete. So this will delete the WhatsApp data from my iPhone backup. Why I do that is I already backup my WhatsApp separately to iCloud and I don't want that extra copy of WhatsApp so that I can save the space. So whenever I restore my iPhone, WhatsApp will read this backup and will give me an option to restore my chats using this backup. Many subscribers ask me this question. They are confused about which backup to use. I personally use the backup created by WhatsApp app and not the backup created by iPhone. So this is what I use. You can use any of them, but the recommended one is the one that is created by WhatsApp. It's a very simple tip, but it saves a lot of space. If you have a lot of data on iPhone, like if you include videos in your WhatsApp chats, you can save around 10, 20 GBs on iCloud and that matters. So I thought I should make this quick video and let you know guys about this simple stuff. I hope you guys found this video useful. Stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one.